Well, welcome everybody. We're here to talk about social media metrics today, and I will get to our presenter in just a moment. Uh, but we want to welcome you to this workshop that is being presented by Leslie Poston. And I'll introduce her and share a little bit about her in a moment. Uh, first, I'd like to invite you to check out the Demand Metric blog and also consider joining our LinkedIn group where we can continue our discussion on social media metrics or anything else that's important to you. So that information is on the screen right now. Uh, since we're here to talk about social media, let me share with you where you can find the demand metric set of tools and templates on social media. If you will go to the demand metric homepage and mouse over the premium content link in that black navigation bar, you'll see a pop up and you can select filter by topic. And when you mouse over that, you will see there on the right towards the bottom, the social media set of content that we have. Uh, one of the things in particular that we have that's quite relevant given today's topic is a social media metrics dashboard. And here are just a couple of shots from the tool. Uh, we have a uh, spreadsheet where you enter your data. This is, of course, customizable. And the tool produces lots of graphs to help you kind of see visually what's going on with social media. So that resource is available to you along with many others including our social media marketing methodology. So check those out. During the course of our session today, we have access to a wonderful expert uh, in Leslie, and we want you to ask your questions. So you'll see on your screen, we have a dashboard there, and there's a question feature. So I'll be monitoring that panel during the course of our session today. So if you have a question about what you're hearing, what you're seeing presented, feel free to ask it there and we will get to as many of your questions as we can. Of course, there'll be some time at the end as well. So feel free to ask your questions. We encourage you to do that. We have an agenda uh, and this is it quite briefly. We're going to talk about the foundation for social media metrics uh, and all of the things that you see listed here. Let me get straight to introducing Leslie so we can let her talk instead of me. Um, Leslie is, uh, you can connect with her via Twitter and her handle is there on the screen. As you know from our promotion for this webinar, she is the author of the recently published Social Media Metrics for Dummies. She is a leading authority in emerging media, transmedia, brand, and business development and has devoted a lot of her adult life to social and emerging media and its application to the real world. She's worked with some pretty prestigious companies including uh, Hewlett Packard and, and sounds like some really fun things like boutique wineries, uh, restaurants and musicians, so lots of experience. In addition to her book on social media metrics, she previously co-authored Twitter for Dummies. Uh, and she speaks all over the place, has articles on uh, uh, in various blogs, including Mashable. Uh, so many of you may already know of Leslie. So what I'm going to do is uh, click a few buttons and hopefully... Uh, Leslie will become the presenter and she will take over here. Leslie, it's all yours. <laughs> Thank you. Um, hi everybody. I am going to be doing an interactive presentation today so please do feel free to um, ping me with a question while we're going on here. And what I want to leave you with by the time this is over today and what I hope to leave people who read the book um, with is a feeling that their online interaction has a sense of purpose and a sense of direction and can be easily measured so you can see if it's working for you. And In fact, when um, Wiley approached me about doing the book Social Media Metrics for Dummies, I wanted to call it How to Tell If All of This Stuff is Working for You or Not, but they said that title was too long, so um, we went with Social Media Metrics instead. So part of doing good social media metrics is building an excellent foundation for your metrics. And the components of your foundation start with your website. I see too many brands um, recently, especially putting all of their brand eggs in the Facebook uh, basket, so to speak. I highly recommend against putting all of your eggs on a social media tool um, basket. I recommend starting with your website. In order to put metrics on your website, whether you use the 
most basic tool that comes with your hosting provider if you're a small business, whether you use Google Analytics, um, if you're a small to medium business or someone on a budget who needs a free tool that's highly customizable, whether you use something like a Radian 6 or a custom scoop to measure your analytics. From day one, you should have analytics on your blog, and you should be learning how to read the data that your analytics are telling you about your website <clears throat> or your blog. You should also be using an email provider to create some more of this foundation, like MailChimp or Constant Contact or any one of another provider's uh, email provider that offers analytics on the back end of their email and that helps you comply with spam rules so that you can be seeing what your click to conversion rates on email are, what your open rates are, how your links in your email and your calls to action are performing, how, you're, how many leads you're generating from it. On the social plane for Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter, Google+, Plus, um, everything that's out there for social media, not only should you be leveraging each of the social networks uh, individual insight tools like Facebook Insights, LinkedIn's um, limited uh, but available analytics, YouTube's, Google Plus, Ripple's, whatever you're using, you should also be optimizing your Google Analytics for incoming social media traffic and for brand and sentiment awareness on social media as well as conversion. And in addition to that, you should be tracking metrics throughout your organization, throughout your actual company. We're going to talk more about that in a moment, but I actually uh, recommend that a company take a holistic whole company approach to social media metrics so that you can see not only how your social media is performing, how your online marketing is performing, but how your actual departments are performing together because it's um, breaking out of the silos is how, how you're going to make your brand work best in social media. Leslie, we're getting questions already, so before we <laughs> advance to the next slide, let's go ahead and cover some of them. First is okay. a, a housekeeping question, and that is the a copy of the slides and an archived version of this presentation will be available after we're done. So I've had several questions about that. Another question about your book is, is there a Kindle version of Social Media Metrics for Dummies? There is a Kindle version. There is, uh, I have a bit.ly short link for the book as a whole, which is bit.ly slash smmfd, and that'll take you to the Amazon page for the book. If you go to magnitudemedia.net and click on uh, the Buy Our Books link in the top nav bar, there's also a link to have your Kindle version signed. Perfect. Uh, well, I, I assume there was a Kindle version, but thanks for verifying that. Now a question about some analytics. Um, one viewer asks, what are some available blog analytics? Where can I find them? It, it depends on what you want to measure. My personal favorite starter analytic, um, kind of a do-all package, is Google Analytics. Um, it is free. It's very easy to install, especially if you have a WordPress blog. It's actually um, a plugin, so you use your Gmail address, which I'm assuming that everyone probably has a Gmail throwaway address by now, to sign up for all Google products. Get your Google Analytics account if you don't have one already. And then in your WordPress blog, you can look for the plugin. If you don't have a WordPress blog, it also works with Blogger. Um, Google owns Blogger, so it works with Blogger. It works with other blogs. You might have to copy and paste just a tiny little bit of JavaScript code, and if you do have the type of blog where you have to manually insert the code, you're going to want to put it either in the header of your blog or in the footer of your blog before the, um, the little end body tag, you know, thing that looks like two carrots, a slash, and the word body. Okay. And, you know, it sounds like you're actually kind of touching on the, the next question we got before we move to the next slide, and that is, is there a way to merge social media metrics into Google Analytics for a one-stop analytics shop? Absolutely. Google actually killed the old Google Analytics tool um, recently, so if you haven't logged in in a while, if you've been logged into Google Analytics before, um, if you log in now, you're going to see that it looks very different. Uh, it's much more user-friendly. It has many more reports for you, and one of the um, pre-made reports that Google has for you that you can uh, segment and mess around with yourself, change the date ranges on, do some keyword um, uh, analytics and, and other things is a social media dashboard inside Google Analytics now. So we'll talk about that in a little more detail a few slides from now, but yes, you can have one dashboard for all of your analytics. Very good. Okay. 
Um, and, and one more before we move on. Do you recommend any tool for managing the social media activities? And I suspect you're going to cover that. I am. That's at one of the last slides. We'll okay, go over some we'll get to that then. So we'll move on now to the next slide and let you continue. All right, so I've coined a little phrase um, called trans-organizational metrics, which is just a fancy way of saying to start your analytics measure